Okay, Chris. I'm 
Come here, brother. Come on, little chicken. Come on, little chicken. Come on, little
Ele veio cantar lá.
So guys, two. Just six for inside. Yeah. Last time we walk away. So six for inside. Two in here, two over here, and two in front. I will get down the wall, right? Ali. Just the one. So six men. You get a light man. Let a light man go in. Yeah, I like it. Shankai, just fix it inside there, right? Yeah, I like the fan. No, 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 Watch 
Can we try all this side quickly? No, no, hey, we'll come down now. Come. Okay, we'll meet out the front. Uh, whatever, go from the end. Go from the side. Go from the side. Hey, no, no, no. Go from the side, man. Go from the side, man. Go from the side, man. Yeah? Mm. Now for the front, man. Go see him, man. Yeah, right? Oh, yeah, good. Use the same length now and start up wide. Run! Use the same length, both and start up wide and lateral. Do you understand what I'm saying? Two more to hold. We are away from the door. Two more to hold. Two more to hold. That's the man. Hey! That's the man. Why, why, why? I'm not white No, I Hey boys, hey, we have some uh, <laughs> no hurry, no hurry for that. <laughs> Let's get another one on this one. Pull out the front. Same front. Same front. There's a reason why you're using wood. Because you're getting yourself to the bridge. Away from the building. front one, that's what it's going to be. Yeah, you can come and jam on the joy. Right. Guys, we got, we got some, let me clear up some more of this wood from the side there.
Side, side. Good, good, good. Side. Hold on, hold on. We gotta like both together. Wait, put that on a hard hat. You got a hard hat? Yes. Yeah, good. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta like together. No, no, no. I saw this one. I like one. Yeah, yeah. Proper yeah. one. Okay. Yep. Ah, okay. You listen to what I tell you to do, right? Just listen to me. If I say I move, move. Start up right there. Good. Go. Back on the top. All right. Come back. Come back. Come back. That's the top. Top one. Good. Come now. What? No, no. That's fine. Come, come. <coughs> hey. Come here. Come here. Yeah, I mean, listen, listen. Listen, listen. One by one. Knock out the one there. The middle one. Go knock hard. Right. Good. Watch the note. The next one. The concrete. That's the top one, right? Watch your escape proof, right? No, no, watch me. If I say I move, I'm moving back to this thing. Break, break from the back of the wall. Right here. Come here. Come here. This one would not. You can move it, right? Good, good. You need to do that. Come now. Watch, I'm here. Inside. Yeah, next 
saw exactly what this walked like. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's not very much stuff Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm posting stuff. I'm posting stuff. You see, what is the support of the bathroom? That's just not a right? Yeah, yeah. Right up there, right there, right there, We are pulling an angle this way. Two pump more we got. Two pump more. Go! We are pulling an angle this way. For it to go back to. No, no. Chato. Vamos, 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 Vamos,
So, um, this, this, this morning we're very pleased to be back here. As you know, we were walking through this community and a number of community issues were raised in relation to the drainage, the roads, the garbage, uh, the Commission of Police and, uh, and his team uh, started work uh, from this, the, the very day that we were here in this community. The uh, Commissioner of Police, the Divisional Commander, where is the Divisional Commander? Um, members of the, the, the police force, the NDC, the National Drainage and Irrigation Authority, private sector, Komal, all started work on uh, addressing all the issues. One of the issues, you know, was this old lady who was living here, uh, men on mission decided to take this project up, like we'll be taking many projects up across the country to have a better facility for an elderly housing. And we started this morning, as I said, that I'm, I intend to be physically and personally involved, and I thank all uh, the members of Men on Mission here. And what we are hoping to achieve is to complete the structure by next Friday, a new structure so that the granny can get back into her home before uh, uh, next weekend. So I want to thank Komal Mahes, Komal Mahes and all the guys, Men on Mission, Ron and his team, the entire team here, commissioning his team, commanding his team for their efforts and we'll be back during the course of the week tomorrow starting today to update you on the progress but this these are some of the things that in every community we want men to uh, gather their effort and come together in helping others creating positive impact not only on the social side but also in relation to uplifting lives of people thank you Oh no, um, yeah, mor morning team. Um, we are very happy to participate in this better mission project um, through His Excellency initiative to get Granny a new home for Christmas. And our plan of action, we took the house down today. Today we start sand filling the, the environment here. And from tomorrow we pretty much will be casting the base and start preparing the wall, prefab the wall, um, so we can have this building completed by next Friday. So I'm imploring on all listeners here right now if you want to do something for somebody for Christmas, come out here from tomorrow, come out with your hammer and participate in helping to put up um, this new structure for Granny. Thank you. Good morning and thank you. You know, the Guyana Police Force, we're going through a transformation and so our strategic partnership pillar is one that we're emphasizing on. Um, in relation to this building, she a, it is an elderly woman, she's considered vulnerable and we're going to move to all the communities to ensure we identify the vulnerable because if they're vulnerable, you know, they're susceptible uh, for anything to happen, building collapse or anybody could get into the homes and because of their vulnerability, they may not be able to defend themselves. And so, uh, like we identify here, we're going to go to the other communities and have those areas identified. The persons, of course, identified to and men of mission in collaboration, police and all the other stakeholders. We're going to continue to build capacity by enhancing these buildings and ensuring that uh, we have adequate security mechanisms in place. Thank you. Yes, this morning we are in Fort Street, or Stellin, um, and this is as a result of His Excellency walkabout that was done last Saturday. Um, during that walkabout, His Excellency would have met with Granny, um, we call her Granny, living here with her grandson in a, a dilapidated, deplorable home. And right away, His Excellency made a commitment that we are going to rebuild the house. And this is fulfilling that commitment here. His Excellency is on site this morning. We have already dismantled the old structure. And within a week, maybe by, by next weekend, the new structure will be up so that Granny and her family can move back into the new house and to enjoy the holiday um, comfortably. And as was mentioned, this is a project that is being taken on by the private sector, by men on a mission, by the government, by the NDC. So it's a collaborative effort. Uh, the community is also involved in it. 
uh, we would like to personally thank the, the NDC and the community of our Stillian for being a part of this project and partnering with the government of Guyana, the Guyana Police Force and the other government agencies to ensure that we bring some kind of comfort to the elderly folks and communities. As I mentioned, this is a project that we replicated throughout the country. This is part of what Men on a Mission is about, to enhance the lives of those unfortunate people around the country. So it is a, a, it is a process and it will continue as we move around the country. We'll keep you updated. And if anyone know of uh, individuals who are vulnerable, especially our elderly, who live in these conditions and situations, they should bring us um, updated or update us or let us know of the situation so that we can extend some kind of help as we are doing here today. Thank you. Morning everybody. Um, got started early this morning at 6 a.m. but this is how partnerships work. Uh, as Minister Vikram Bharat said, the president on a walkabout last weekend, we observed this. This is what men on a mission means. It doesn't mean that we just say things and we make grand promises and grand gestures. This is what it actually means. Um, there's granny who lives there. There's an old lady who lives there with her son in conditions that are very difficult. Obviously, um, not by choice. So we decided that uh, we would do everything we can to make it better. This is the culmination of a partnership with the government, with the, driven by the president, the government, uh, the private sector and the community. And they've all come together last weekend. Uh, following last weekend, there was a hurry. We needed to get plans in place. We needed to have house drawings. We need to have approved plans so that we could start construction. Those plans have now been approved. Uh, it is estimated to be finished by next week, Friday, so that Granny can move in with her son and have uh, a joyful Christmas season, hopefully. And it starts today. This started at 6 a.m and this is the result of it. So this is what uh, a promise is. If you say you're going to do something, you should do it. If you say that men on a mission should have a vision to help those in the community that require help, then you should put yourself forward to be of assistance to those in your community. Thank you. All right, good morning. Uh, my name is Quincy Gibson. Uh, a few days ago, uh, the commander for the subdivision 4B, Mr. Singh reached out to us and he asked us for some assistance to demolish this house and I think it's a great initiative by the president and the Guyana police force and we're going to continue to build a good relationship with the government and the Guyana police force to assist persons in need and indeed this is a great gesture for the, for the old lady so that at least by Christmas she could have a proper home and some nice pepper pot and, and, and so on. So I think it's a great initiative and like they say, we're going to go around to different communities and of course, we, myself and our team, we're going to keep giving a, a helping hand to whoever that's in need. Thank you.